All right, so today I'm gonna try another Bob Ross video. This time I have brought an assistant to help me pick. Yep. All right, so there are, you know, 30 some seasons, most of which are available on YouTube, all the episodes and about two seconds of scrolling, we have decided. Tell them <laughs> what we are doing. View from Clear Creek. View from Clear Creek. Sounds lovely. And I can't wait to see what little happy accidents I can make. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right i looked ahead he has a square i have a square it's convenient for me my white is wet now it's wet and slick and we're ready to go so let's just have some fun Okay. All right. So here's what Bob has so far. We're kind of just building up this background of sky. What I'm presuming is going to be like sunset area, water, and then we left this little blank area here so that we can do like a little glimmer. Um, I am going to cheat and use the lovely blur tool here, and. It just kind of makes that whole area kind of fade a little bit more. I may actually just do it with the pen because I'm not loving how that looks. Um, yeah, just lots of blending, lots of happy colors. Really he just beat the devil out of that brush. Very passive aggressive brush cleaning. I'm not going to dip mine in water. All right. Did you bring my tigers in? Hold up, Bob. What? No, I did not. His tigers. Didn't, didn't you know? We got the Tiger King here. Oh, there's our beautiful shading. All right, all right, all right. Why will this part not shade? Why does it hate me? Do, 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 do. Can I just put a little leaf flower on the Happy little leaf. Happy little paw. All right, we're gonna bring our greeny blue. Oh, that's great, 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 great idea, Bob. This is not working. Good, I'm a bad. Okay. I'm what 30 years too late but that's pretty cool he was just saying how beautiful the trees are in Missouri so love you by the way my mountains just, it's going great all right so Bob is making his mountains and then he goes back in with a brush and kind of just splotches in the white and since the white was wet um, it go ahead and does this little beautiful foggy thing, um, in my experience, the best way, my experience, like I'm doing this all the time, uh, the best way to do that on the iPad is actually to make those mountains each layers and then airbrush up it and then put them on top of each other. Um, so I guess I'm going to redo my mountains in individual layers because Bob's just tricky. All right, so I just spent 10 minutes of my life that I'll never get back uh, recreating the mountains in layers so that I can kind of get closer to this. Again, we're running into the whole thing of there's a lot of nuance and blending with traditional mediums that just don't happen right off the bat in digital. Like, you have to go back in and keep doing those, and uh, ain't never got to get time for that. So. All right, so Bob has gone in and done a lot of texture and adding light and value, um, kind of a grassy thing. I have done the same, but with many, many more steps and very much less finesse. Um, I'm learning a lot, but this is also now stressing me out. But I'm no quitter, so we're gonna see what's next. Let's have some fun. Let's take some Prussian blue. Let's have some fun. <laughs> we'll put some green in it. Some brown. No disrespect. It doesn't matter. Crimson. It doesn't matter, it but it probably does colors. because then it's going to turn out ratchet and his is perfect. All right. Now there we go. Now we're going to 
are many, many, many ways to paint bushes and stuff. I want to show you one that's very simple. And stuff. If you've never painted and you're afraid. Okay, so Bob has done this situation where he did all of these little downward strokes um, to make a shadow and then go blend it in. Um, kind of showed you how to do that. It was pretty cool. Um, but since I'm using an iPad, I did another layer and then I put that thing down, flipped it and reversed it. So basically I flipped it vertically and then redid the opacity on it, like made it a lot lighter and voila, reflection. Uh, now it looks like he's adding a little highlight there in between the layers. So that'll be another layer. All right, so I got my highlight popping and I thought we were done. So I worked really hard all the way across, but apparently we're throwing in some more happy little bushes. Uh, happy bushes. Uh, this sable brush is pretty cool, I will say, because if you do it small, it's a nice little artistic brush. And then if you make it big, you can really make these like that look more organic so pretty cool so in the um, 45 seconds it took me to finish shading my bush there's a tree <laughs> and another mound of grass and I'm not really sure I feel like if this was you know back in the day and we had a VCR my button on my remote would have just me having to stop and go back and um yeah but i'm learning how to um be patient and since i'm a dirty rotten digital cheater i used my tree brush and made my own little happy trees in about two seconds because i have to go pick up jack from school um so yeah i'm going to continue just putting in some highlights and shadows and all of that fun stuff um this is pretty much Bob's finished project. And so, yeah, I'm just going to do some color washes and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, it was a lot more of a process than I had anticipated. So, hey, Zane. Hey. Come here. Okay. What do you think? I love it. You love it? Mm-hmm. Cool. Don't my trees look great? Yep. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Thanks for the challenge. I knew you could do it. You're the best. All right, so I added a few more, just little touches, things that I like to see. Um, Cause you know, I'm such a critique. Um, and here is my finished product. Obviously it's not perfect Bob Ross style, but that's okay. Cause it's Adrian imperfect, but still had a decently good time style. Um, yeah, so about 45 minutes and a very stretched out hair tie later that's what i got <laughs>